Is this the droid we're looking for? Nope. What about this one? Nope, let's keep searching. Okay, I am sure it's them this time. I don't think so, but I have a feeling that they need to die. Yes, yes they do. Okay, I found it this time. What is it? The most generic thing I've ever seen. It's not even a robot. Yes, yes it is. Hi guys. Oh God, kill it Boba Fett, bitch needs to die. Hey guys, welcome back to Super Important Reviews. My name's Steve, and today we'll be going over the Star Wars The Black Series number 9 Stormtrooper. This is from what I understand to be A New Hope, during the beginning of the movie where they have boarded the Corellian Corvette that Princess Leia is in. Because it's pretty much what they stay on the back of the packaging, so that's what I'm going to roll with. And normally I don't tend to buy Star Wars figures, because originally I had a ton of them. But to slim down my collection a bit, I, those were the things that I got rid of. Except for, I kept Boba Fett's because I'm a sucker for a guy in a helmet. And also Princess Leia because who doesn't like Carrie Fisher in a golden bikini? But another thing I actually really like was the Stormtroopers from the series. Because they came in a lot of varieties and also with the colors being white. They were also a very nice contrast to Darth Vader. In which kind of caught that, caught my eye when I was a kid when I was watching Star Wars. Because they had all these cool outfits and they were pretty awesome even though they can't hit the side of a bar with a plaster rifle. But I thought he would look really nice with my Boba Fett on my display stand, and I also really like my figures to be articulated, and since I bought them, I'm gonna review them for you guys. So for the packaging, I really love what they do with the Black Series boxes, where it's just a lot of black with some mute colors, with the Star Wars up here and the Stormtrooper emblem here, which looks really nice. But then they have like this orange here to kind of help offset that, same with the name down here for the Stormtrooper. Plus on the packaging too, he's very brightly white, so it just really offsets everything else going on here, which I think is pretty cool. And then for the side, nothing really going on here, nothing going on there. For the top, pretty much what you got on the front of the packaging with the Star Wars and the Stormtrooper emblem. Bottom, just some label and mobile jumbos, Hasbros. And then for the back, I really like what they do with the scene pictures here, where again, it just blends in with the packaging very nicely. I just think it's a really cool look. And then, if you guys want to read the bio real quick, I'll let you. If I'm Lord Vader, we have a prisoner. Yes, because you are prison in that package, buddy. So let's get him open up off his cardboard prison. All right, so first we're going to go over his accessories, which if I get the name wrong on the weapon, please let me know in the comments because I really need to write these errors if they are. But from my understanding, this is called a DLT 20A Lawn Blaster. Which, getting off his hand and bringing it out for a closer look, looks really nice. Like, I like all the molded detail on this weapon. Really like the scope on it. It's overall a very nice looking gun. And another thing to point out with this is, I guess this is also the preferred weapon for the Bounty Hunter IG-88. Which was the droid Bounty Hunter that you've seen in The Empire Strikes Back standing with all the other Bounty Hunters. He's a really tall, lanky guy. I guess this is his weapon of choice. So, that's a little bit of history on the gun. Other than that, I really got nothing much else on this. And then, for his other accessory, which was really awesome because he actually comes with a holster for it, is the Blast Tech E11 Blaster Rifle, which is pretty much your standard Stormtrooper weapon that you see with all the other figures, too. Like, I've had these with uh, these smaller counter ones and whatnot, so. But overall, these look really nice. And I really like the scope on here. The clip coming off to the side is really cool. And it's pretty well, it's like, I've seen a ton of these. It's just, I always really like the design of this rifle. And it just looks really nice. And again, it's really a nice holster for it. And also when you put it into his hand, it looks really good as well. Because it looks like the Stormtrooper's finger is pulling on the trigger. Which one thing to point out with the Stormtrooper 2 is, I don't know if it's just me, but his finger looks really tiny like that is literally as far as it goes and it's almost as long as the thumb it's like slightly longer which especially with his other fingers just kind of bending in a little bit it just seems really tiny to me like even bringing out this finger over here like comes all the way around looks pretty realistic sticks out a little bit this one just looks like it got chopped off in the factory or something so it's just it's a little odd to me, but even when getting in the uh, the DLT, again, still looks really nice with that on the finger. So, like, 
it's not a big deal. Like, it's probably meant to look like that, but it's just something that was a little weird when I initially got this figure. And what's also really nice, too, is you can also hold the, the blaster with both of his hands. Even though it takes a little bit of finessing to get in there, but... Once you get it in there, though, it looks really nice. Like, he's getting ready to shoot somebody, or he's holding his prisoner hostage, or getting ready to take him to the detention center. So, it looks really nice on him. So, for his accessories, I think they turned out really great. And they're overall really nice choices for him, because all these are standard issue for the Stormtroopers. Like, move into the side for a second. For his details, he turned out amazing. Because for his head sculpt, I literally haven't really seen too much wrong with it. Other than the paint is a little sloppy on this side of the mask. Well, on this side of the mask, it looks really nice. But other than that, that's the only noticeable thing I've seen on these. Which, looking at a lot of the other Stormtroopers, because uh, initially when I got them at my store, we got two of them in. So I got to kind of check out both of them. And one thing I noticed is, is that each of them had their own little blemishes. Like, looking at him, he looks really nice. Really nice white armor. Very clean. But then getting into for a little bit closer looks, he has a little bit of scuffs here and there on his armor. Like, right up here, you see some niches. Right here is a little bit of a gash in his ammo belt. And then he's got some blemishes on the back of his arm here, as you can see. And that's a little bit of a bummer because initially I would imagine a lot of people would just like their Stormtrooper just to be nice and clean out of the packaging. But for me, that actually works really nice so with these guys having a little bit of imperfections for army building purposes. Because if you buy multiple Stormtroopers, each of their imperfections are going to be a little bit different. Because the one I noticed had a little bit more of a gash like here on the shoulder and in a few other spots. And this is just the cleaner looking of the two. But also what that does is provide a little bit of individuality between the two troopers. So having him and then you can have one with a little bit of different scuffs and marks on him. Because when they go to battle and whatnot, like none of each of the stormtroopers going to have the same exact distinguishing marks on their armors. So that actually would make it a little bit cooler. So you got like multiple stormtroopers like standing behind Darth Vader and they all each have their own little distinguishing features. So that actually really works for me, even though it's not something that I imagine is supposed to be like that. But overall, with the rest of his details, he looks really nice. Pretty much your standard Stormtrooper fare. Really like the way the armor turned out. Especially back here, like, looking at it, it looks really nice. Uh, I believe this is the thermal detonator on his back. Also looks really good. Even though it's got a little bit of a... Not straight paint job there on it, but that's eh, forgettable. You can't really notice it anyways unless you're looking at his butt. Then Sable Belt also turned out really nice. Again, really love the holster here. Especially with all the little notches and everything in it, it kind of gives it this leathery appeal, so that's actually really cool. And for the details on his legs, also look very nice. Really like the way that the kneecaps aren't exactly the same on each of them, so that's really cool. And then getting into his articulation a little bit, his head can go all the way around. He can look up, down, and also he has a joint here at the neck too, so you can get him moving back and forth. So it can be like, so take that as you will. For his shoulders, you can go all the way around. It actually seems like it's on a ratchet joint, so that's actually pretty cool. You can move in and out a little bit. Up here has a nice rotation, no movement there, but at his elbows, he has a double joint, so you can get it moving about that far up, about that far down, no rotation at the elbow, at the hands, goes all the way around, a little bit of a bend to it, you can move it in, back about that far, and then he has a nice tummy crunch, move Back and forth, all the way around. Nothing here at the waist, at his legs. Move outward, inward, forward about that far. Not so much back, but that's fine. Little bit of rotation up here. Very nice. At his knees, also around a double joint, so you get the bend 
pretty much all the way back. And a little bit forward. No rotation at his feet. Just have a bend to it. No rotation. Little bit of a pivot though, so that's really nice. So actually what's surprising me most about his articulation is it's very reminiscent to the SH figure arts line with the double joints here at the elbows and at the knees and overall just his fluid motion. It's just very reminiscent of that figure line for me and especially at the $20 price range this figure comes in, it's very impressive to me. So for some comparisons, here is the Stormtrooper compared next to the Black Series Boba Fett. And here he is compared next to the Black Series Slave Leia and Bauk Chikabarmo. And here he is compared next to the Star Wars Transformers Boba Fett. And here he is compared next to the Jack Pacific's Godzilla leg. And just to show what I'm talking about, here he is compared next to one of the only SH Figure Arts figures that I own, the SH Figure Arts Pink Ranger. And as you can see, she's in a very dynamic pose, which you can only get with generally this figure line because of the really awesome articulation, because just like the Stormtrooper, double joint at the neck, double jointed elbows, which is what I really love about this figure line. Granted, this figure is definitely a little bit more pulsable than the Stormtrooper, but it's still relatively on par with this figure. So overall, the Stormtrooper here, I think he turned out really good. His articulation is very comparable to the SH Figure Arts line. His accessories are nice and accurate. And even though his armor has a little bit of blemishes in him, I actually personally think it gives the figure a little bit more character and really makes him nice for our army building purposes. So if you guys are really into Stormtroopers or just Star Wars in general, I think this guy is a solid buy. So what do you guys think? Are you guys a big fan of the Stormtrooper? Do you guys have this guy in your collection? Or you guys just hate the Galactic Empire? Please let us know in the comments. We'll have closer pictures on my Facebook if you want to click the link in the description below. Please don't be afraid to share this video around. If you like this and want to see more stuff like this, please give us a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.